We're just going to leave uh, that recording of earlier just to alert you that the Parisian television station BFM saying around 100 dead in the Bataclan concert hall. Uh, this was the scene where the police stormed uh, that theatre earlier. Uh, we had the reports that between 60 and 100 were being held hostage in that concert hall. Uh, we then heard a series of explosions. Francois Hollande said that the police would move in in a, an assault operation, but it now appears that there are about 100 dead in that theatre. That may well be that most of those people being held hostage were killed. Uh, reports had suggested that as well as the two attackers there being armed, uh, that they may have had explosives uh, as well. Our defence correspondent, Alistair Bunkle, is with us. I mean, Alistair, we reflect in a, a confined space like that, even a, a series of grenades thrown can cause just tremendous carnage. I think if it turns out that 100 have been killed in that concert hall alone, it is a massacre, and it is a tragedy on the scale of which we haven't seen in Europe for decades. It will also give us a very clear reason as to why the French police went in so quickly uh, because they were aware that either uh, many people had already been killed or people's lives were under imminent threat. Um, there are reports on Twitter that, uh, very gruesome reports on Twitter about what might have been happening inside the theatre. I, I think just at this stage uh, we just need to digest the fact that a hundred people might have been killed inside this concert hall. We heard explosions, now whether those were stun grenades from the anti-terror anti police going in or whether they were grenades from the terrorists, we don't know, but it would have been a confined space. I don't know the Bataclan concert hall at all, but one only has to envisage a theatre of some description to know what we're talking about, uh, possibly small passages as well. It clearly is... Uh, just a, an unfathomable situation yeah. for the French government and the French security services. And, and we had reflected earlier that this was uh, a very difficult uh, scenario. I think uh, we, we go back to, I think it was a, a, a theatre in Moscow where hostages were held and a significant number died there. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a very difficult thing to stage uh, a, re a rescue effort in those circumstances. Well, I mean, that was Chechen separatists. Um, I think they gassed them there, didn't they? The thing about a theatre, I think, is you've got a big open space and you can herd your hostages into a corner yeah. and you can give yourself a decent line of sight and protect yourself against any uh, incoming uh, fire from anyone trying to raid that theatre. And that's what makes it quite a, an effective place to try and take, take uh, captured, uh, capture. So it is very difficult for the security services to take back I don't think they would have gone in as quickly as they did if they could have calmed the situation down and tried to bring back some control. I think if they had had it their own way, they would have just let things settle, you just let that initial adrenaline die down, and then you try and open up negotiation with the hostage takers. I can't think of any other reason why they have gone in other than people's lives were an imminent threat or people were being killed. And this is exactly the sort of spectacular that they would have wanted uh, and indications this is uh, yeah. we saw the Stade de France earlier the football stadium where Francois Hollande was we, we had this explosion there clearly uh, the modus operandi of these uh, groups is literally a body count that the bigger the number the more the impact that they see. Well, uh, 100 people killed, well no more than that, what are we, 140 well, people well, killed? Four, four, yeah, so basically if we tally the, the various locations, well at least six locations we believe, we're talking maybe now about 140 dead. So 140 dead, a number injured, pictures of the French president being hurried away from the national stadium, 